South Africa would have won the series with uh, with that uh, without Etzebeth, but they couldn't have won it without Khaleesi. Um, but Zach, I'm going to top that. There's something beyond the pinnacle of that, and that is winning one of the Telf Rugby Podcast Awards. In the <laughs> There's not many people pick up these awards. Um, so we're going to start. We're not going to be doing long discussions. We're just basically going to be saying who wins the award. And if you want to just give us your um, addresses, please, um, whoever wins the award, then we'll send out the award. We're not going to come and run into your house and try to do a podcast with you. Uh, joking. Anyway, here we go. First one is the surprise lion of the series. Someone that you felt maybe shouldn't have been on the plane and ended up playing unbelievable. The nominees. Chris Harris, Ali Price, and Jack Conan. We'll start with you, Harvey. Who is your man? Uh, Jack Conan. Um, Chris Harris didn't offer much. Uh, Ali Price was shocking in the last test. And I think Jack Conan was just solid. I think he was a really good player. I think he put in a tremendous shift. And I think he made that eight jersey his own. So for me, yeah, Jack Conan. It's got to be right. Jack Conan. Jack Conan. It's got to be Jack Cooden. Jack Cooden now has cemented himself not only as a Lions number eight, but also um, Ireland's number eight. So, Caelan Doris, you got your work to do, mate. If you're keeping Faltau out of, out of starting eight, you know, you must be some player. So. It's a good point. It's true. Well well done, Jack Cooden. I know you lost the series, but there's a little um, consolation for you. So he'll be, he'll be buzzing tonight. Make sure to tweet them, Telford. You've got to tweet this prize list. Let them know. You know? Well, this will be our clip as well, so this this will be across all the socials. So, try of the series, then, boys, the test series in particular. As a big and many. This is when this is when it gets the test bad. series. Because I, mean, I tried to think of one, and I realised that the Lions only scored two driver moles. Um, so does one, it have to be Lions? Couldn't it not just be South Africa? I'll be honest, there is no Lion nominee. Um, it is Cheslin Colby's arms off that Faf de Klerk. Uh, Little grubber mm-hmm. through, yes, very yeah. nice. And then Moon Peepees off the, off the polar crossfield kick. When I started doing that, I realised that maybe South Africa actually did play a bit of rugby because it scored actually some nice tries when you break it down like that. But uh, is this just a quick one? Is it Shedlin? Yeah, Shedlin. Uh, I think Willie Larousse was a decent one as well. Do you want to put that one in there? But um, yeah, Shedlin yeah, for me was the best try. It's it's, it's series defining. We've discussed it. Willie Larousse got this alive. <laughs> Oh yeah, it did. There you go. <laughs> That's why it's not on there. <laughs> I know you oh, mean yeah. it. It was very, very... It would have been. It would have been up there. Like it would have been up there. So I go. Yeah. In the first test, you don't know what one counted. I know exactly what you mean. Um, but yeah, Cheslin, if you all give us your details, um, we'll come around and give you that prize, and uh, might be standing outside of a microphone and try and get a podcast with you. Hold on, mate. Underachiever. Um. Someone that went on the tour and didn't achieve what they wanted to achieve. So I have Hamish Watson, Anthony Watson, and Ian Henderson as the Lions nominees. I think it's always going to be with Alan Lynn coming back in, it's always going to be hard for Hendo to really to make an impact. Um, just with a J and, and Alan Lynn taking those two spots. And I think Hendo went into the series wanting at least a test cap, whether that be off the bench for 10 minutes and to not get a cap, he must now, and as harsh as it is, he must look at now. And at the end of the day, Alan Wynn was always going on the tour, so Hendo at the start would have thought, I need a test cap. And I think the other two boys could get test caps, so... Beardy, sad- Beardy took his spot. Then they Beardy. Beardy. <laughs> and sadly, I think we have to give it to Hendo, but again, at least he walks away with something. Yeah, can you say that Alwyn Jones is the underachiever? Because the other day he didn't achieve what he wanted to achieve, <laughs> which well, is a test. <laughs> with Gavin, I don't know. I, I, I flipped that. He flipped that. Like, nah, I, I feel for Ian Henderson, but Adam Beard is the uh, defensive mall expert, as we did see to be fair <laughs> on Saturday. Like he was decent. Um, like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead though. Just like the Ulsterman needs to have something to go home with. Yeah, uh, I'll agree with that. Me and Henderson, I don't think any of them that you mentioned were particularly great, but I think, like you said, more on the sentimentality and the you know long-lasting effect. I think probably Henderson will be the most disappointed. 
but it's not down to like a lack of his ability or anything, just kind of lack of opportunity and it's just tough for him. Tough. Sports cruel game. Faz, maybe you could argue Faz under two. Yeah, good point. Good point. That is a good point, actually. Yeah, oh, I think Watson, I think who you mentioned, Watson, who had plenty of game time and had very little effect. But then the kind of mitigation I have on that is it wasn't really a game for any Lions backs, in my opinion. I think the South, yeah, I, yeah. I, I I was walking around saying, oh, it was only when PP doing well, but then Chelsea scores a wonder try. So I've kind of got to involve him now. So um, <laughs> for me, it's just, yeah, and yeah. Willie Roo was great. So and for I'm, me, it's I'm just. As well. So for me, it's just the Lions backs are shocking. So um, yeah, well, we don't implement them properly, but. Um, yeah, Watson, I think, has had a disappointing one, but considering how good of a form he was in going into the tour as well. But anyway. Ah, we'll, we'll give Dando just off the base. Those boys still got their caps. Um, but the next one is one that we kind of um, touched upon earlier. So the biggest prick to the referee. Um, it's either Gatland with his comments about the TMO. I know it's TMO, but Television Max Fissel kind of is. They are kind of referees. Or Razzy Erasmus with his 62 minute video. I mean, I mean, it's not even a, it's not even a, it's just not even a competition. Razzy Erasmus was the prick to the referees and world rugby and rugby in general. So he can happily have that, to be honest. And at the end of the day, Razzy wins it because he was a prick and he still won. <laughs> he, he won that battle. Like he won the battle. <laughs> yeah. He's on the Bears with that prize, like going, hey, boys, 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 I don't care. But yeah, <laughs> like, it get always we're, we're all we're all in agreement that one. Next one, we did touch upon earlier, actually, Zach. Uh, moment of the series. So, Sheslin Colby, Mornay Stain, or an interesting one that I want to put down was Marcus Smith getting called up and getting told in the tunnel. Um, at picking him that he was going on the Lions tour and then coming obviously over um, and that whole story of things I just thought was such a great moment in the Lions or Alan Wynn rising from the dead yeah I think <laughs> the one definitely <laughs> that would be <laughs> we'll add in Alan Wynn as well so what do you reckon boys for me I want to give it to Mornay just because of the romance of the whole thing yeah I understand that I think yeah, yeah maybe Cheslin's try like, yeah, I gotta go morning stay and just the fact they did 12 years later, like in the uh, exact same circumstance as well, which is the hurts, creepy thing. Like it just hurts. Um, I just honestly I've been groaning. I see every so often today, I'll just be like, oh like, you I just, just you so you get that moment of realization like every night uh, you, it's two any night minutes two hours, you go, Oh yeah, we lost the test. Yeah. yeah, like it's yeah. the same with the Euro the Euro final, like just thinking yeah. a second, oh like just hurts. Um I more than staying. He can he deserves a prize, like he deserves to get something. Well, Sheslin's already, really got, already got a prize, so we don't want to be yeah, he doesn't need any more. He's had he's, he's he's done enough in his career with his like 10 caps. Um. <laughs> <laughs> are you going morning? Yeah, yeah, morning's gotta get it for me. Like you said, I, I, I actually messaged you at the time and said about the romanticism of it all, even though we were obviously in the thick of well, facing the fact we were losing the test series, I actually found peace in the fact that Mornay had gone out there and done something like that. It was just, yeah, it was just cool. It's it nice honest. to see. Written in the stars, really, wasn't it? Written in the yeah, stars. Yeah. Number 22, I've seen all the photos today, like the, the two photos side by side, and it's kicking technique hasn't changed much. It's still <laughs> so full. Um, next one is the controversial one, boys, uh, but more important to so the man of the series for the Lions. Um, I put three names down, and I think it is only between two. Robbie Henshaw or Mario Batuji with Ty Furlong was my third that got a good shout out because I thought it was like him in the list as well and the scrummaging. And you seen the difference when Singler came on and gave a few late penalties away. You just realised how far Furlong is ahead of any other tight heads about. But um, Zach, we've been very clear with Robbie Henshaw, Robbie Henshaw, Robbie Henshaw. Um, and I just thought again, he came out with a moment of brilliance, made a line break, Finn Russell knocked it over to draw the series level. I just think time and time again, he was he was the man that could unlock that defense. And he worked tirelessly. His defense was class in the areas class. And I just think he edges a 2G because I feel a 2G, although he was outstanding in that first test. He um Henshaw just feel had just basically Henshaw had three E out of tens. A 2G had like a 10 out of 10 and then two sevens. So I just yeah. give the henchman off just 
pure consistency. I think if, if Mario Toji was setting himself up, if you're talking about personal goals, Mario Toji was, I'm going to establish myself as the best second row in the world. I'm going to show at Beth what I'm made of and that I'm better than him. Uh, he alluded to that kind of in, in, in interviews he gave to the press before the tour. Uh, and looking back on the tour, you probably say at Beth is still the best second row in the world. He pips Mario to that one. Um, so based on that, Mario Toji not winning that battle with Etzebeth, maybe that's harsh. Then I think Robbie Henshaw is the man. If if you know if Mario Toji gets man of the match in the third test, he he is man of the series. Will literally be man of the series with two man of the match performances out of three tests. But Robbie Henshaw was fantastic, playing out of position. You know, thirteen for a bit as well, uh, and he was still fantastic. He was the rock. You know, he's one of the first names in the team sheet. Um, he lived up to the hype as well. Um, and yeah, Robbie Henshaw thoroughly deserved, I think. I think he's been fantastic. It hurts that he doesn't get a series win, but um, it's great for Ireland fans. Fantastic for Ireland fans to see the form that he's in. I was going to say, um, well, I'm going to flip it. Actually, I think Maratoje is the best second round in the world. And I think Maratoje is the man on the tour for Lions, but start with that one. Um, for me, I think a very close second is Courtney Laws. I think you mentioned he gave away the penalty towards the end, which obviously decided the thingy, but you of course want to flip it on your head. Robbie Henshaw missed two massive moments that could have flipped the first two tests and stuff. So like as much as he was an incredible player, you're right. He was very consistent. Um, and to be honest, he was a shining light out of a lot of darkness in those backs for me, Robbie Henshaw. But for me, Maratoje won that battle. I think Alan Jones let him down and so did the rest of the pack, to be honest. Um, and I think Maratoje was one of the only ones who actually went out there toe to toe and beat those guys all ends up in every situation and I think he for me has cemented at even such a young age that he's at that he is one of the best players in the world and I think he'll be up there for the rest of his career as long as you know fitness stays true and everything else um, so for me it's Mario but yeah well, there's three Irishmen here like I'm sorry but Angel was always going to no win. I'm, I'm an Englishman as well so it's fair enough <laughs> well unless Ferg you want to level it up um, no unsurprisingly I'll probably go for um, our man Robbie Henshaw yeah. He's just one of those players you, you think he's tackled and then he just gains, always gains two or three yards, which is massive. Which is a massive game uh, against Falcons. And yeah, um, if Finn Russell played all three tests, could well have been him, but we're always going to live with that. So quickly then, young player, I think this one's pretty obvious. Um, I'm picking every, basically, I put down everyone that's under 23. So Curry, Marcus Smith, and Louis Zamet um, kind of has to go to Tom Curry because he played all three tests. And as we said before, Although he was a bit over eager, he still played class for a 23 year old in the Lions test. So I think we give that to Tom Curry boys, unless anyone is really pro midweek. <laughs> well, they didn't play, did they? So this, yeah, yeah no, it's, it's I'm, Curry. Happy with Tom. I'm happy with Tom Curry. All things, you know, we did chat about some of the negatives with Tom Curry, but at the same time, to keep the seven jersey off Hamish Watson and the BD, you know, respect, respect where it's due. Yeah, and I just really hope that Zama and Marcus Smith hit the beers hard because although they weren't playing much in the last three weeks, that's what they could do. And I really hope those boys stepped up their drinking game with the likes of Pendo and Navidi and all the all the boys that were involved in the test. I really hope they had a good time in the hotel lobbies. And final award then, I feel we've got to give it to uh, finish on South Africa because they won the series. The South Africa player of the series, which... Um, is on the flip side the player of the series because South Africa won and whoever wins the series is going to get the player of the series. So, um, Colby or Etzebeth, and I'm going to throw Khaleesi in there as well. Oh, that's a good question. You know, uh, not Colby, he gets the series defining moment, but he was basically missing the entire time. Um, he's just about crawled out of Duhan's back pocket. Um, whew. Etzebeth is just like, he is, he's just like, he's next level. But also Khaleesi, there's just something about the leadership. Like, honestly, see if South Africa didn't have Khaleesi, they wouldn't have won the series. Mm. I think they could have won it without Etzebeth. Well, maybe not, actually. That's a big statement. But, um, <laughs> I don't know. What you add to that one, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, sure as I said, I was like, mm, I don't know if I agree with that. Uh, I'm going to stick with it. So Africa would have won the series with that. Uh, Without without Etzebeth, but they couldn't have won it without Khaleesi. So I'm going to give it to Sia Khaleesi on what is one of the great Springbok leaders, one of the great rugby captains in general. 
Um, he's my man. He's my man. So I was going to give it to Sir as well and say, I honestly think he's up there with the likes of your Rich McCaws and everyone else. I think he's, he said, inspirational, not only for South Africans, but world rugby in general. Um, and I think, yeah, he's incredibly durable and just everything he does for that side, like he lives and dies by that South Africa top and only feels right when they win the Lions series to go and give him player of the tourney. So. And I've said so many times that tackle on Robbie Henshaw where he knocked it all. Like, oh, yeah. That's, that's serious to find right there. That's that's when Henshaw scores it. Henshaw wins it. But Khaleesi did it. So, for my opinion, Khaleesi has to win it. Fair? Yeah, no, completely agree. And I feel, although he's won the whole thing, he needed it to tell Robbie. Like, Khaleesi's going to be annoyed tonight if he didn't win one of our awards when he's the captain of a winning series for the first time. In a long time, well, 12 years. Well, not really a long time now, it's since 97, so we've never won in South Africa, all of us, since we've been born. But, boys, we go again in 12 years' time, we go again in four years' time. <laughs>